I'm Sherry Boshert, speaking with Dr. Heather Murphy-Lavoie at the annual meeting of the American College of Emergency Physicians. We're talking about death rashes, rashes that tell you the patient's problem could be deadly. The majority of rashes that you'll see in the emergency department are not worrisome. The clues that the rash may be a deadly rash are that they have palpable petechiae with fever, or they have um, non-palpable petechiae and thrombocytopenia, or if they have bullous disease with mucosal membrane involvement, shedding skin, all of those things are particularly ominous and indicate a life-threatening infection or disease process. If you see hemorrhagic bulla, that's never a good thing. They're a very ominous finding and um, have a high index of suspicion that this could be a necrotizing infection underneath there. The most dreaded, scariest cases are patients who come in with fever and some confusion and develop a particular rash. If you have a patient with palpable petechiae and fever um, that comes in with confusion, you probably are dealing with a case of bacteremia or meningococcemia. You need to get antibiotics on board early to prevent morbidity and mortality. Do you think any of these rashes are more likely to be missed in the emergency department than others? Well, they, yes, the ones that don't present um, early. So sometimes you just have fever. Sometimes you just have um, maybe endocarditis and the petechiae is a late finding. Um, in those cases, you could miss the diagnosis of bacteremia or um, meningococcemia or bacterial endocarditis if the petechiae come late. Uh, you could also have Rocky Mountain spotted fever 10% of the time. There's no rash in that disease process. So um, not all of these cases have the rash to give you the clue. Sometimes something as simple as an irritated throat can be a sign that a death rash is coming. So toxic epidermal necrolysis is the most serious cutaneous drug reaction. And sometimes it starts with just a little throat irritation or eye irritation. So you need to Keep that in the back of your mind when you're seeing a patient that's recently been started on a new medication, especially if it's a sulfa drug or um, other antibiotic or an uh, anticonvulsant. And they come in complaining of a strange irritation in their throat or eye irritation. That may be the precursor to developing toxic epidermal necrolysis. Physicians, get out your smartphones. Dr. Murphy Lavoie has an app to help you spot death rashes. There's an iPhone app that's available through the iTunes store. It's called EM Rashes. It's free um, for download, so I'm not getting any royalties or anything for that. We put it together, Dr. Tracy Legro and Dr. David Kammer, and I put it together um, just as a tool for our colleagues to use to um, help approach that undifferentiated rash. Reporting for IMNG Medical Media, I'm Sherry Bosher.